Hey, my name's Carl. And my name's Jindu. And you're with Sohan and Mani on 100.1 FM. We are here with the guys from the Medics. How was it up there? Highlight of the performance? It, it was it was pretty fun, uh, you know. Um, we, we did extremely a really nice... Extremely hot. Uh, yeah, and extremely hot. But besides the heat, you know, the people was great. They, they, um, it, we just had a really good time. Felt like we were playing a gig in Cairns, you know. Like, we're originally from Cairns in North Queensland, so the tropical heat doesn't really bother us, but... Um, We've been in Brisbane for a while now, so we're a bit out of touch with the heat, but uh, I think we pulled through okay. So we heard a story on the World Wide Webosphere that one time Jim sprained his ankle whilst performing on stage, but still powered through. Did that happen? Uh, Is yeah, that true? This, well, this one time we played a show. I had, <clears throat> well, it was it was in a warehouse, and um, at, at the end of the show, I just ran I ran around and I jumped off this like. Three some meter, stairs. Some, like, yeah, three, it was kind of stair balcony sort of thing and like sprain my ankle and jump back on stage, finish, finish the end of the song. And then um, the next day I woke up and my, I just couldn't walk. It was fully like, yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. And that day actually I had to go and play another gig and I, I walked in with my ankle strapped up in on crutches on stage. Oh, and no. And we, we, we played, uh, and, yeah, the sh uh, next show, and that was pretty fun. And um, any dramas today? Anything crazy happened today? And, oh, pretty nah. smooth. Everything went pretty okay. Smooth. Yeah, definitely. I think we're pretty safe now. We, we know what to do and what not to do. So you know your limits. Yeah. yeah. The security helped Jindu out, you know. Security's amazing here. Yeah, yeah. They look out for you. It's, it's really crazy when you have good security. You guys are from Cairns, and you've said yourselves that your unique soaring rock uh, sound didn't quite match the music scene up there. What challenges did you face in that or was it more of an advantage for you guys? Yeah, you could say it was a bit of an advantage in a sense of like yeah. We could, yeah, we can do our own, th we, we did our own thing, we weren't, um, we didn't conform to anybody, we just kind of really, we're all different in the way that we listen to music, we all love different types of music, so bringing that to, bringing that, those, um, yeah. Well it was pretty good as an advantage, together. you know, it, it made us stand out more and, and you know, in, in front of people, uh, and especially in cans and stuff. So, it, it helped us in a way, which was good. But um, now we're in the the bigger the bigger sea. It's and there's a lot more fishes here. So, it's really hard to kind of um, these days to really create your own sound. And um, it's we're kind of fortunate in the way of like we can just do what we feel um, we want to do, and it kind of comes across as you know the medics, I guess. So. Um, we're really yeah, fortunate to be, a, be able to do that and just create music that sounds like us. So Now the video clip for Slow Burn is quite something. It's as if everything that you see you can feel, you know, there's toes in the grass, sand in the hands, taking the tight ring off your finger. It must have been so much fun to make that clip. It was more a sense of feeling, feeling Emotions. the song because, because we felt the song was a strong song but it didn't have that like uniqueness that you could put a film clip to so we connect felt, to visually so we felt that we wanted to put something that had a lot of feeling to it and without even noticing it I reckon that the song you can actually feel towards the end of it you feel uncomfortable because at the start of it you feel this good stuff like you know what it feels to kind of feel sand and stuff but by the end you kind of got ants on your back and you got sand in it's your eyes. It's a bit of discomfort and and in life and kind yeah, of just, metaphors and things like that. Yeah, with that's, that's what, yeah like the uh, definition of slow burn means uh, what is it the growing uh, something of rage or something it's well with a concept yeah, slow of release the... of anger is there one particular project that you guys have worked on that has taken way too long for you guys to agree on something uh, when when it takes too long we kind of just put it to the side and, and remember it in our heads and just kind of re re bring it up in two months three months and and we kind of have a different outlook on the whole song and what it could be. So Just kind of have uh, catalog it all, catalog yeah. all our ideas. It's all about like not relying on your memory to keep you in, in like line. You know, you got to kind of get everything on file because that's what it sort of is these days. There's a lot more to focus on.